Last week, uh, Camilla batman Gelidge died. She was only 61 years old. And I, I must say, I hadn't realised until I read up on it that uh, she had been exonerated completely uh, for her uh, involvement in Kid's Company. The, kid, the Kid's Company itself had been exonerated. But the problem is that mud sticks. Kid's Company began in 1996. Um, and she, 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 she was the most extraordinarily charismatic individual, and uh, she, she set up, she set up this company to help children uh, who had sort of fallen through, fallen through the um, holes, and. Uh, setting up um, English lessons, setting up little jobs, uh, helping with documentation, uh, everything, that, everything that you would need to get you back on your feet. Uh, Kids Company in the early 2000s was the most extraordinary charity, helping damaged children uh, who had suffered abuse, neglect, violence, addiction, crime and who were angry, who were loud, who were withdrawn, who were disconnected, who were abusive themselves. Um, and they found uh, a home and some form of stability through Kids Company. And, they, uh, and, and, and this gave them a future. And uh, Batman Gellidge, was a um, was a lady born in Iran. She trained as a therapist, and the, the the charity founded in 1996 was there to help vulnerable children, vulnerable youngsters, by showing them uh, aff affection unconditionally. And it 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 could have. An impact it did have an impact, but it also clearly attracted detractors because she was a powerful, charismatic, engaging individual who met with the highest in society. As a photograph of her um, meeting Prince Charles, as a photograph of her with um, the then Prime Minister David Cameron sitting in the cabinet office. And she was idealistic and driven. But uh, as, um, as the new wave of politics caught on in 2014, there were problems. Austerity hit. Suddenly, there's significantly more children in need, and the government need, and the and the charity turned to the government for aid. Um, and the 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 aid was a six million pound rescue deal, uh, which was organised through the cabinet office, and it meant that. Batman Gelich would uh, stop being the chief executive. The board would be replaced. And, and, and that would move forward. At the same time, there was a spate of malicious allegations of sexual abuse. They were investigated by the Metropolitan Police. Nothing was found in them. But, at the, but equally, Equally, the 32 allegations, dismissed as hearsay and vague in detail, uh, were so significant that people stopped giving to the charity. The charity folded within a week. And it took, it took a few more years before Camilla was utterly exonerated. And, and, and of course... The media isn't interested in that story. The media is only interested in the dirt. 
the tabloids loved their salacious stories about her chauffeur, her swimming pool, um, giving money to children who spent it on drugs and so on. Uh, actually, she was living in a northwest London flat. Um, and what we didn't know, of course, was she was also dying. Uh, she was trying to pick up the, 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 the damage done to so many of the young people. She was trying to help them as best she could. The, 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 the fallout from, 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 from all the malicious gossip surrounding her charity meant that people working in that charity found it difficult to get jobs. Uh... And again, they were all exonerated, but the the media isn't interested in that. The media is interested in the dirt. And, and so when she died, she died without a stain on her character, but nobody knew. Nobody knew. And I must say, I, I'm, I, I, I didn't know. I had no idea that she had been completely exonerated, that her charity had been, the, the charity's reputation had been rescued. I didn't know. And I keep quite, quite a keen eye on what goes on in the media. It, it tells you something, and it tells you something about what's happening with the Horizon um, scandal and why it's so important we make a fuss to repair the damage done to people who have been savaged by the media beast. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry about this story, and I'm so sorry about Camilla's death. Um, she was one of the extraordinary people, and... Of, of course she would attract as much derision as she attracted praise and support. Of course she would, because she was a beacon for attention and her, her colourful, bombastic, engaging, creative, dynamic style is not the style of the 21st century, but it is the style that gets things done. And I think she is a figure to emulate. Um, and I'm afraid, I'm afraid if you put yourself out there, you accept the knocks as well as the adulation. In fact, the two things come together.